September marks the introduction of a new retail pump price of petrol in Nigeria. News Central visited the five calories terminal in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, to find out how both operators are operating their craft with the increased fuel cost. Surprisingly, did both operators decline all requests for them to speak to us about their operations in the inland waterways? Some who spoke off camera directed us to their superiors at the terminal. They also declined comments only directing us to their headquarters in Mile 2 in the Amuo or Dauphin area of Lagos. Regulators, however, explained their oversight to New Central. Last one being the regulators, what we do is um, we just uh, we regulate the waterways, whatever happens on our inland waterways. We have an enforcement unit. They go out randomly you know, to make sure that the guidelines have been followed. Once you're on any craft, watercraft, be it a tugboat, a commercial boat, a private boat, the rule is you must wear a life jacket. Everybody on that boat must wear life jackets. And where we find people who don't wear life jackets, our team, what we usually do is to, a boat like that will seize the engines, they pay a fine before such um, properties released back to the company. And where we find a company who defaults like regularly, like it now becomes a habit, what we can do to such a company is to revoke the license until that company is ready to cooperate. We will continue to ask questions from operators and regulators about commuting on Lagos inland waterways in our subsequent reports. Nasir Agbalaya, New Central, Ikoi, Lagos.